Oh man, what's this? What the heck has gone on with my awning? Oh, it has ripped from the front. Well, hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. You saw it. It looks like I've got about a 10 foot section of my awning where the stitching has pulled away from the fifth wheel. Looks like I've got a project. Well, hi, it's Jerry, and uh, yeah, I got a project to do. I knew this was coming. Uh, last October, before Joan and I went out for our fall trip, uh, I went up top and saw a bunch of pinholes and stuff and did some minor patching on our on our awning and when I did I saw that the all the stitching going across the top was getting really really weak and it's lasted till now but it's uh, it's finally gone so I've got uh, my son Joel coming over he's going to help me here in just a few minutes this is going to be a couple hand job uh, we're just going to replace the thing I don't think it's worth trying to repair it it's six years old it's already got pinholes starting in it I've already had to patch it a couple times and um, I've got some you know minor tears on the side and those types of things so it's a cool spring day and um, sun's out and the wind's really low so I think this will be a perfect day to do it. What we've done is we've ordered a sun wave awning. Uh, these were about $165 for ours. Ours is a 16 footer and um, there's a couple things that you need to do before you replace yours if you choose to do it. Why am I choosing to do it? Well it's $165 and I'm borrowing my son uh, to be able to help me to do it. I have heard, gotten prices from anywhere from $1,000 to $1,600 to take it to a repair location. And really, this is a motorized awning. These are the easiest to replace, in my opinion. The manuals, you've got a capture spring that you have to deal with. Still not very, very difficult, but I think this is gonna be pretty simple overall. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get this process started. It's, uh, again, it's not gonna be a big deal. The, the most difficulty is uh, just managing a 16 you know, foot by eight foot awning and you want a nice you know, calm day. We've got a light breeze today. I don't think that's gonna cause us any problems. And there's a few steps that you need to do for prep. Uh, just so this thing don't come falling down on top of you, a couple ladders, and just be very, very careful. So let's go ahead and get this project started. Well, the first thing that I'm gonna do is retract the awning, giving myself about, I would say between nine inches to 12 inches of space uh, to be able to take the, um, the roller off and then cut the old awning away and then be able to pull that awning back off. Let me show you that process. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some zip ties here and uh, this will kind of hold this in place. I want a bit of a gap here. I've got to take these motors off and then I'm going to be cutting this awning away. I'm going to take these zip ties and I'm going to put them like this. I'm going to hold that in place. Now I'm afraid these are going to slip down after some stress. So what I'm going to do is actually take another set of zip ties here. I'll show you a close up on this in just a second. And I want to kind of come up through the top here. And, uh, create a bit of a loop to keep this thing from sliding down and um, you know and collapsing on me because uh, if this slides down if this slides down this whole arm is going to come forward so this is going to kind of keep it in place here I'll show you a close up on it it's really pretty simple you can uh, you can actually see here's the band and there's nothing to hold this in place I don't think these screws are going to do it right here this is just going to slide down so this will give me a you know a bit of a safety belt coming up through this loop kind of hold everything in place so I'll do this on both sides all right I've got a sharp uh, razor knife and I'm just going to cut this away leave me just a, a few inches you'll see here just to give me something to grip with if I having a little trouble with it. I'm just gonna cut this away from the camper. So uh, practice good ladder safety. If you don't have a good quality ladder, go rent one or you know a friend that has one. You don't wanna be up your ladder and fall down and bust it. Now you can see, you can actually see where this thing is just, the, there's a, there's a, uh, a rubber 
grommet that exists in here and you can see where the stitching is completely busted away here away from that rubber grommet and it's just it's just ripping apart you can actually see the threads uh, here in this close-up and uh, we're just going to continue to cut this thing away and then uh, we'll walk down you can see this whole section is probably a good maybe I don't know, almost eight, nine feet, just completely busted. It was gone, and it all happened in just one pop, and that was it. Let's go ahead and cut the rest of it off. Now, the good thing about this, again, I was talking about this is a motorized unit. There's no spring or anything that holds this under tension, and uh, there's just two bolts, uh, one here and one on the other end, and then this whole, this whole roller assembly, uh, Joel and I will grab it, pop it up, set it down on the ground, uh, pull the old awning off, and I put the new one on. And then this right here, I'll show you here in just a minute, we've got to, uh, we've got to pull that out. It's just gonna be a little bit of brute force to grab that thing, probably with a pair of vice grips and get it running, and then uh, we'll have that out. And then that'll be the last part of the process, putting the new awning in. This isn't gonna be a bad job at all. This is the motor side of the unit here. And uh, I'm going to, have to remove this back side off here real quick. Uh, there's a handful of screws here that have to be removed. Uh, for, and I've got to take both of these off for two reasons. One, there's a big screw here on the front that I'll show you in just a second. There's a capture nut here in the back. I've got to be able to get access to that so I don't lose it. And then this actually has some wiring going up in here and I've got to uh, cut the motor away from it. So we'll get that taken care of. This won't take but a minute. All right, so I'm gonna take this and lay it up on top with my screws in it so I don't lose any. And this face comes off right like so. Yep, mud daubers have been in there. And you can see that, you can see where that nut is captured in there. So I'll take, the, uh, take this bigger screwdriver here and there's not much to it. And I'm gonna loosen it up. I'm not gonna take it all the way out because it's gonna take two hands here. Once I get that pulled, it's gonna try to flip out. So, you know, we're gonna have to have two hands holding onto this thing. So I'll just loosen it up for now. Now you'll see uh, right, right here, this is torn a little bit. You can see how this was fatiguing, but right here is a, a capture screw and that's holding that that rubber binding in place. I don't know that that's the best place to have put this. Should have probably been put out here because this is uh, whoever the installers were at the factory. That's caused this thing to split over time. And, and now that we have this set screw, we can just grab this thing like so and just pull this old part out. And that is that. Step number two. Get this big roller off and get moving. Okay. Mine's out. You might, uh, Joel, what? you want to kind of, yeah, you know, just yeah, okay, yeah, you're holding it. Don't let it pinch your finger. Okay, you got it? All right, now just pull it out with your hand. All right. Now hold one second. Okay, hold on, let me in. This is plugged, thank goodness. There we go. You got it? Uh-huh, you ready? Now take that screwdriver and put it in your pocket. There you go. All right, pick it straight up. One hand, grab the, grab the ladder with the other. One step at a time. One, there we go. Excellent. All righty, you good? All right. Turn on the other side and make no, it no, no, that's perfect. I just don't want to cut my uh, my other screen. Okay. Lay this down. Yeah, just set that down. That'll be our workspace. Uh oh, Joan, hold on. Alrighty, that's our workspace. Now this has got a set screw, which 
I think one of the things that caught us here in the mess, Joan, was when we went left Florida two years ago. If you remember, the wind got into it. We were just glad that it was still there when we went back. If um, Murphy's Law doesn't roll too much, that should do something just, just like that. Something like that. Let go. Something. Of course, it has to catch on the end, right? There we go. Bingo. All right. Awesome. Oh, they gave us a fancy tool here. Okay. Let's, uh, let's unfold it. That's and all right that's not bad it's a different material yeah, it is. than what this one is it's uh more of a coated coated material okay that is going to be to the back uh, let's uh -huh. take it uh -huh. a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more. Okay, now let's fold it back over like so. Okay. Okay. Going to you. Straight to you. Straight back. Straight back. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Hold it right there. And that's the valise. And that's going to go like that. Okay. Awesome. What we want to do is keep that that channel kind of in line with that as much as we can. All right, Joan, if you'll come over here and grab this corner. All right. Okay. All right. Now, Joel, you want to come back this way a little bit? All right. And Joan, if you would just follow me. What are we caught on? All right, you're too high. I'm too high. Yeah, you gotta gotta have it lower. You're, it's getting pinched. Oh, okay. There you go. That's all right. Easy breezy. All right, keep coming. Keep coming. All right, let her go. Uh oh, caught on something. All right, you can let yours. You can let yours go. Let's do that. All right. I think it's just that little stitch right there. Okay, you might have to kind of take this, buddy, uh -huh. and just kind of, just kind of wiggle it as I pull it okay. to get that stitching to come through. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Look at that. All right. Make it about. Let's see. We're about two inches past this one. All right, John, you can set yours down for a second. I'm gonna put me a little hole, and one of the things I'm gonna try to do here to hold this one in place is not quite do it like they did before. And drill through it. And this will just pinch it. That's all we need to do is pinch it. So you'll see here, there's a, a set screw that I put on both ends. And if you'll notice, there's a little uh, rubber-like plastic rod that goes inside that track. And then just putting a screw holds that in place on both sides and keeps it from sliding around. The fun trick is going to be taking that and threading it up there. Oh, this is what I've been looking forward to. You can come back here and hold it. Now, Joan, you come over here on the other side and keep it from coming off the rollers. All right, don't get ahead of me.
pull. Hold it. Just a little bit along. Hold it. All right. Easy. All right, hold it. How are you coming, Joni? Doing good. All right. Hold it. Pull. All right, go move your ladder. All right, hold it. All right. Hold it. All right, pull. Hold it. Pull. Hold it. Pull. Oh. Okay. A little over oh, okay. uh, what maybe six inches more on your end? Pull. Oh, hold it. Right there. Let's see. Alright, let me do a spot check here. Awesome. Hold it. Alright. Alright. Hold on. All right, let yours down a little bit. There you go. So let, actually, let, put some tension on it as we roll. Let head it down till you feel it have tension on it. There you go. Okay. Hold on. Let me get caught up with you. You okay? Yep. All right. Keep coming. All right. Gotta to come to you. All right. All right, don't put yours in yet. Hold on, I gotta hook up my wiring. How about that? Two hours and done. This was uh, really not a difficult project. It, uh, it does require several hands. We did it with me, my son Joel, and of course Joan. Uh, Joan was kind of our feeder down on the bottom. Um, but uh, it turned out fantastic. Would you look at this? Look at it. That is, it turned out really great. You can see our, uh, the, the little top hasn't flipped down yet. We're going to have to let it stretch a little bit before we, uh, you know, take it out on the road. And then we've got our, uh, you know, the bottom half of our window screen, our carefree easy blocker, they call it, that's here. And then you'll notice the inside, it, the, the top and the bottom is identical. So uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't too bad. You know, time-wise, I would say roughly about two and a half hours to do all of this um, total. That was from, you know, setting everything up, getting the screws out, pulling it off and moving forward. Again, it was probably um, a four-person job. I don't know if you saw what our fourth person was. These ended up being the fourth person. These are, um, you know, rollers that you use uh, in woodworking projects, things like that. I set these up, you know, at the end of my table saw. This ended up being our fourth person because we had to have somebody on the bottom who was feeding this across. And it really would have taken two people to be able to do that. So fortunately, we only had to have Joan and uh, she just fed these right along and it worked great. The mechanics of this awning is an LCI. Um, the motor and the, the hardware that's used here is an LCI and it is a motorized version. Uh, you saw the, you know, the motor that we had up there as I was making those connections and so forth. And uh, there's nothing on this end. It just, you know, rolls up by itself, but it's an LCI. And uh, again, there's nothing to wind. There's no spring to capture. It's just two bolts out, take it down, put it back up. The big thing, make sure you take you some tie wraps, you know, to hold that uh, metal structure in place. And it was easy. So two more weeks and counting and Joan and I are heading out on the road with our brand new awning. Oh man, do I love RV life. Mm -hmm.